This is Mahmoud Hassan Mehraz. Welcome to another solution tutorial of Soilos. Today we will going to solve this 3D problem. In this 3D problem, this is the isometric view and all the dimensions are given in the isometric view. So first of all, we are going to start drawing from the right plane. In the right plane, I will draw a rectangle. And this rectangle has a dimension of 75 by 30 unit. Then I will start to this to 60 unit. After that, we can see that we have another extrude cut rectangle and this extrude cut rectangle has a dimension of 55 by 12 unit and then I will extrude cut it to through all 60 unit then we have another two extrude cut cycle in the top face and this two extrude cut cycle has a dimension of 17 diameter and each has a distance of 25 unit from this line and the first extrude cut cycle has a distance of 12 unit and the second extrude cut cycle and those two cycle has a distance of 25 unit from from each other okay let's go back to our sketch so i am selecting the right plane now sketch now normal to it after that select the corner rectangle and place the corner rectangle here and now dimension it to 30 unit by 75 unit now isometric it for a better view now go to features now Extrude boss now extrude boss is to 60 unit okay now press ok now again select this face now sketch now normal to it after that I'll select the corner rectangle again and place the corner rectangle here now dimension it to 12 by 55 unit now isometric it for a better view now go to features now extrude cut now extrude cut it to 60 unit now press ok so this extra person has been done now select this top face now sketch now normal to it now select a circle and place the circle here and draw a circle of 17 diameter okay now select this one dimension tool and dimension this circle from this vertical line is 25 unit and this circle has a horizontal uh, from this horizontal distance line has a distance of 12 unit okay now select again circle and place the circle along this dotted line and draw a circle of 17 diameter now select this my dimension tool and this two circle has has a distance of 25 unit okay as the previous circle is 25 unit distance from the vertical line this circle also have a 25 unit distance now press ok now isometric it for a better view now go to features now extrude cut now press ok so this extrude cut portion has been done let's go back to our sketch in our sketch we can see uh, we have a circular profile here ok so so this circular profile has been drawn here and this circular profile has a dimension of 32 diameter and it has a distance from this face to this face has a 58 unit and the bar and this line to this line has a distance of 65 unit so after doing this cycle i'll draw an inclined line like here and this inclined line from this point has a distance of 95 unit and from this point to this point has a distance of 58 unit and from that from this point i'll draw a tangent line to this circle and and here for drawing this line i will draw an line that goes center goes from center of this circle okay then i will extrude boss it to 15 unit then i will then i will draw in the next stage i will draw this circle of 32 unit then i will extrude boss it to this side will be 40, 40 unit minus 5 so it will be 35 unit and the other side the extra bus will be 5 unit then I will draw extra cut cycle of 22 unit in here then I will extra cut it to through all okay that's me demonstrate for that I am selecting the right plane again now sketch now normal to it after that select the cycle tool from here and draw a circle of 32 diameter and now select the expand dimension tool and from this cycle to here it has a distance of 58 unit and from this cycle 
to this line it has a distance of 65 unit now press ok after that now select the line tool and draw an inclined line here and now select the expand dimension tool from here and from this point to this vertical line it has a distance of 95 unit so dimension it to 95 unit and from this point to this line it has a distance of 58 unit so dimension it to 58 unit now select the line tool and from this point draw a tangent line okay zoom it here so draw a tangent line okay the tangent line has been drawn now again select the line tool and draw a circle draw a line and this line will go for uh, from along the center of the circle okay now select the trim option and trim all the necessary part that we don't need okay now press ok now i submit it for a better view and now go to features now stood boss now stood boss okay before going to stood boss we need to close the shape okay so let's closing the close the shape um, again i am normaling it here now selecting sketch and select line tool and closing the shape okay the shape is closed now isometric it for a better view now go to features now it should boss now it should boss it to 15 unit now press ok so this sugar portion has been done now I, now it's time for drawing the uh, circular profile and the circular cut so i'm again selecting the right plane now sketch now normal to it now select circle and place the circle to the previous circle center line okay previous circle center line and draw a circle of 32 unit okay drawing a circle of 32 diameter now isometric it for a better view now go to features now it's to boss in the direction one it will be to boss to 40 unit minus 5 so it will be 35 unit and in the direction two it will be to boss to 5 5 unit now press ok so this is your portion has been it's to boss portion has been done now it's time for it to cut portion so i'm selecting this face now right click on it now sketch now select a circle and draw a circle to the previous circle origin and this circle has a dimension of 22 diameter now isometric it for a better view now go to features now it should cut now it should cut it to okay through all now press ok so this extra cut portion has been done so as you can see we have done our 3d sketch thank you for watching till the end Thanks for watching, and keep learning. Be different.